start off sh uh, today's show with our sponsors again. We've got Doritos here. Sometimes you need the cheese. Red Box. I can't tell you how much money they're taking from me. The end of a nice, long, hard shift. Sometimes you got to go home, hit yourself with some blue emu. But no look, axe. Sometimes your ass stink. And last but not least, once again this week, power aid. Where well, you need to quench your thirst. We're back today, uh, once again this week, looking for another good show. Um, back with my co-host Brandon Adams, and uh, we're back here on Swampy Joe's Alleyway Picks. Um, good to have you back again, Joe, on the show. Right. Um, right. See, so you got your breast cancer awareness stuff on. Looks I like that. Yeah. It looks real. Yeah. It looks real good. Yeah, I had to <clears> show some get support. that get that ribbon on there, so you know. And I even had to. Show some love for the yeah. Panthers at the eat. I understand. And with done. that, we're going to start our show off with the <laughs> flag of the day. <laughs> Last week, folks, we had a Seattle Seahawks fan on the set. You know, they were playing the Panthers this week. He got whooped. He comes back on the set with a Panther hat. I don't know what's going on. You choose for yourself. I came back on the set with a Panther hat, too. The only difference is I was already a fan before the game last week. Row, row. And uh, hey, I'm just showing respect after we got our tail whooped in the fourth quarter. Take it as you may. No, no. All right. Good Shoot afternoon. Our pitch, man. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Swampy Joe's Alleyway Picks, where he's always got something interesting to say, and every once in a while, he just may get it right. We're gonna go right into the NFL this week, and um, Joe. Yeah. It's a real up and coming week this week in the NFL. So with that being said, I want to start off with the Steelers at the Chiefs. Well, they're having some quarterback issues. You which, won't see Michael in, Vick starting that game, I can tell you. So uh, Landry's coming out and took him down the field twice and scored both times. Okay. Chiefs defense. Can't stop nobody. We're gonna go with the Steelers in this game here. All right, I understand. How do you feel about the Patriots taking on the Jets? Well, Tom Brady. Tom Brady and the Jets win. It's Tom Brady versus the Jets defense. Mm -hmm. And Tom Brady will win that game. Yeah, and he's at home, so yeah. I'm sure he'll wanna impress the home crowd with a good win. Falcons, Titans. Falcons. All day long. All day long. No question. No How about question. the Bucks and your Redskins? Should be a good game. Redskins just keep giving things away. Uh, but then you got crab legs on that thing. So I am looking more for the Redskins to come out. And that game being at home, I think the Redskins are going to come out and win that game. They should fire the coach, fire the quarterback. Which one? For the Redskins. Yeah, Maybe both exactly. teams. Exactly. Which quarterback? Oh, well, who knows? I mean, yeah. they, they, they might as well play RG3 because Kirk Cousins throws the ball to everybody else. Hey, with that being said, they may as well. They We're going to bounce well. on over here to the Eagles and the Panthers. Eagles and the Panthers. Yeah, could be team. the game of the week. This thing right here. Could be the game of the week, folks. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 no. Folks. Folks. There's your answer. There's your second Eagles. flag of the day. Eagles Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct. I can't get him on air, folks, but don't worry. He will Eagles. pay later on. He's out of here after the set, folks. There's two <laughs> flags for the day. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to the Cowboys and the Giants game. Cowboys and Giants. Off of a bye week. Should be rested up. Giants well. didn't look that good last week against the Eagles. Dez might do that. Dez can come back. And you all starting man. this guy, Matt Castle? <coughs> yeah. Isn't that what his name is? Yeah. Who is he? Who is he? <laughs> yeah, who is he? I don't know. I think he's certainly better than uh, Kirk Cousins or RG3. Well, let me tell but, you uh, something. Here's your flag. Okay. I'm going to tell you. 
All this hype about the uh, Dallas Cowboys offense, defense, yeah. running backs, quarterback, Tony Romo, when he's in and he's out and he's in and he's out, y'all can't still win. See, I told you all weren't going to. I think everyone knows what we're in contention to do you before the season see starts. This week so we take those you injuries. Will lose so. this week. Uh, Giants win. Odell Beckham goes off for you. A buck 52 touchdowns. One hit wonder goes off for a buck yeah. 50 and two touchdowns. Yes, you it. heard it here, folks. The one season one wonder. 152 touchdowns. Oh, man. I don't believe it. Take that. With that being said, I would love to know how you feel on this Seahawks and 49ers game. Hey. <clears throat> Seattle's defense is back at full strength this weekend. When, they, when, did, when have they not been, Joe? When they did, haven't. They've always had when did this they get person, back that person. Full strength, Joe? Hey, just let me let me speak. This is my Was show. It Tuesday. All right, let me see. I understand. Look, Seattle's lost to Cincinnati, the Packers, Carolina Panthers, all undefeated. Sounds like a strange. They lost to the to Rams, me, but they're going to come back. <clears throat> Kaepernick can't beat Seattle. He will get run down, chased down, beat down on the field. Seattle will play their best ball game tonight in San Francisco because they can't beat us there. Will you have this or many excuses home. next week if y'all lose? There will be no excuses. All right. I just want to want to. No excuses. That. Seattle will win. I lost my – all three of my teams lost last week. My Cubs Absolutely. lost this week. Absolutely. Hey, you know. But not this week. <clears throat> You've had a rough week. Yeah. I've yeah. had a week. With all of that misfortune. Especially when the Cubs get swept right. out of the playoffs. With all of that misfortune, let's bounce over here to the college world and see how you feel on these games. Um, Louisville and Boston College. That's going to be a good game. Boston College defense is good. But uh, <clears throat> I just think Louisville will outscore them. I mean – their, their offense is better than Boston College. Boston College can't score enough points to win games. So therefore, last week, Louisville's team had forced, their defense had forced, in 21 straight games, had forced a turnover for last week when they played the, the great Florida State team. Uh, but uh, 21 games straight, so they could be forcing some turnovers this week against you Boston College. you got to go ahead College and throw props in there right. to your Florida State team. Time will tell. Just pointing out a good State. stat. Just pointing out That's a, a nice, I mean, it's, nice it's fine. next year. Louisville stat. wins the game. While we're on the subject, Florida State and Georgia Tech. Woo! I put too much stock in Georgia Tech since the beginning of the season. I think we all did. Um, Other than I, I'm rooting for that team in Florida. Yeah. I'm not going to mention their name. They're not worthy. What's their mascot name? I don't know. Oh, okay. Just off of the subject, um, how do you feel about this Ohio State and Rutgers thing? Do you think that stuff like that might be the reason why these guys are sitting so high? where they are on the horse right now. Type of competition they play, you know. I just think Ohio State's not that great and overranked and Absolutely, but personally I don't think Rutgers has anything I don't that think they, they can, can do be, with them. Well they'll they'll play him for maybe two and a half, three Seems quarters. Seems like a couple teams. Ohio State, State, been like that. They made a change in quarterback, so that that might make a difference. We'll find out this week. But uh, Ohio State should they have win. Played. This is college football. You never know what could yeah. happen. Yeah, Ohio State should win that game. I have played several. But it wouldn't shock opponents. me if somebody yeah. like Rutgers beats them. How about the big SEC matchup, Alabama and Tennessee? Alabama. Easy. They're gonna easy. Mm. Easy. Tennessee has know, lost John. all momentum. Tennessee has been getting good recruiting. They, they know, all right. They lost they all, all momentum when Florida start beating them. When Florida beat them, they've gone downhill ever since. Okay, jump over here to Clemson and Miami. I know you're a hater, so think twice before you answer the question. Where's that game at? It's in Florida. In the Sunshine State, baby. In Sun Life Stadium. Clemson hasn't looked great the last couple weeks. They look good, but they don't. Look great. Uh, they got an all world quarterback in Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Clemson will win the game. It'll be close, seven, ten points. Seven to ten points. Seven, ten points. Sorry, your canes are going down for their second I've loss. I've heard of it the before. Season. How many times have I heard and it? And I keep telling you when Sounds they like lose and game. when they're going to win, I messed up one Folks, game. Folks, on that note, what I'd like to end on is who does your Florida Gators have this week? We are by. Oh, well, that might be the best game you played no, all season. No, no, no. <laughs> well, on, on ending. Would you like to review their ending, loss last week? We got I one. Got you. We, I got you. What was that? Would you like to review the Gators' loss and as to why maybe they 
They got stopped on the one yard line. All right? After you picked them, one they ran out. They ran out of juice. I had they got three to losses: one yard line. Seattle, Florida, Washington. Hey Joe, yeah. won't happen again. This Did they week. run out of juice when they got to the one yard line? No. Was it the juice in the cooler or the one from the needle? No. Was it the quarterback change? <laughs> yeah. Are the field advantage, man? So you know. Are they st still handing out PEDs, folks? No. Okay. <laughs> We got a um, we got an award from one of our local athletes over here. I'd like Joe to go ahead and do the yeah, honors on this one. We had to give props up to my son, bringing it in from Winston <clears throat> this week. Number one, baby. Number one. Now he's going to upstate. Set the he's school record. Go ahead. He set did the set the school record, record at sixteen twenty eight. He's going to go to states and break that. What's his name? Austin St. John, you the man. <laughs> from the three of us, Austin, yeah. Little Swamp. St. John. Do Indian yeah. Land proud. We love you, Austin. I got Good one luck. more thing for the day, folks, before we wrap this thing and do our ending. Uh, James, the sleepy fly brown, has cut out on the set. He's went into the break room. He's sleeping in there once again, like like on our first episode. So we're going to wrap this thing up for the day. Uh, Brandon Adams, Joe, Swampy Joe St. John, I'm Matt Barnes, and that's all for this week. Ha, ha, ha.